Essentially, it's a uh, ancestor, a elven ancestor tree that's been uh, infested with demon juice. Where? At the center of the uh, island. If you want a black and white preview. <laughs> Or I could just, you know, click on L3 and get a full color preview. Yo, this place looks fucking wild. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, though. <laughs> Demonic shit just looks disgusting in this game. Yeah. But, yeah, I just go into the middle of the, uh tree me to the tree and yeah well, well I'd have to turn the TV volume up for that and I don't like doing that well my point is that the tree looks like it has zits trees are not supposed to have zits yeah like seriously yo my, <laughs> my camera's acne. my camera's inside the inside the tree if you want to take a look at my stream or try it yourself. Well, it, it hasn't uh, popped up yet. Your stream. Is the stream even up? Yeah, stream's up. I mean, like, your original stream hasn't popped up yet for me. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna delete that one. Since it was, like, a few minutes long only. And we didn't do shit. Yeah. Anyways, let's actually go do something. But first, I'm gonna go fuck with this bitch because she's fucking annoying. Oh, hey, look, I think that's your original stream just showed up. Hmm. Yep, your original stream just showed up. <laughs> uh. Well, I gave them both both the same title, so I've got no idea. Hmm? I was wondering why I said sneaking failed, then I remembered the game just sucks like that. Oh, hey, why is deal. it sneaking failed? It, it says sneaking failed every time you leave sneak, and it irritates me. Oh, uh, yeah. I hate the fact that your char that the characters can quite clearly walk faster than what you have to walk, but yeah. Well, what what I mean is like when it's the computer trying to catch up with you. Yeah. I see a cage, and in it is that a demon? You grow that backwards facing ear and he might throw you in Huh? <laughs> I'm referring to the you listening in thing. The mm -hmm. backward the growing a backwards human ear. <laughs> he might throw you in there for being a demon shapeshifter. Uh. <laughs> Despite the all too unsettling nearness of these horrors, he looks poised, regal even, and wholly at ease. Go on. Step in from the shadows. Let's have a look at the wanderer lost in the woods. Um, what shadows? <laughs> I guess yeah, technically we're... we're in between the torches, but still. <laughs> yeah. There is much weakness in the revelation. What upper hand you had, you've lost. He eyes you with a sudden intensity, makes you feel like a weight upon a scale, balanced against an unknown measure. I stand corrected. It is in the revelation that you show your upper hand. He sighs, contentedly it seems, darts his eyes to the demons, then back to you. The roads are rather dusty today, aren't they, Godwoken? May I? 
Oh, I just love this guy, though, for some weird reason. He pours two glasses of wine, hands you one with a polite nod of the head. Cheers. The echo uh, I'd like some too. Clinking, billows through the <laughs> disharmonized only by the vicious chattering of demon teeth. To your very good health, I'm sure. Now then, please allow me to introduce myself. So, has there been a video we've done in a while, not counting the little bit that just cut off for you, that my character hasn't drank something alcoholic? No idea. If you remember, the last stream was three weeks ago, and I remember jack shit from that. A spider lady bit me. <laughs> That's the biggest point I remember. All, all I remember is the post-stream shenanigans. Mm -hmm. I am Jehan. Above all, I am a demon hunter. Underneath it all, I am what oh, those hey. with a flair for hyperbole call a master of the source. Of course you are. That is what God Woken do. The answer to your next question, by the by, is yes. I will teach you, if you do something for me first. You know, if you were to just simply leave it as a favor, then that would be one hefty favor because it would be a deity owing him that, so... Yeah. <laughs> you just cash that in for eradication of a number of fucking demons. Yeah. Short-sighted of you, Jahan. Quid the pro quo, I'm afraid. A tad vulgar of me, that much I admit. But needs must when the demon drives. It will come as no surprise, I suppose, that it is a demon that drives me to seek your benevolence. I've been hunting him for a long time. And now I've managed to track him down to the island over yonder. He points towards the northeast. You see nothing in that direction but grey water and a thick mist in which ghoulish shapes seem to form and fade. I know it's there. My caged guests have confirmed as much. But to my great frustration, I cannot reach my goal. Death fog surrounds the island, and through death fog even I cannot pass. That is where you come in. It's true for me that de I'm hardly immune to death fog, but hey, we have someone in the party who is. <laughs> yeah, well, two if we count Sir Laura. <laughs> Since we killed him. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just wondering why Quirkus is a ghost. But a mortal, for now. But you are god woken as well. Surely you have a few tricks up your sleeve. Yes, teleportation. <laughs> Consider it a test. Kill the demon, and I will be your teacher. Then let me shake your hand and describe your target. The demon's guise, or vessel, one can't be quite certain, is that of a lizard known only as the Advocate. Like all of his ilk, he is kind, he is charming. He will offer you what you desire most, at seemingly no cost at all. There is no such thing as no cost at all. My advice is to strike before he even has a chance to speak. <gasps> but should you choose to disregard me, should you allow him to parley, all you have to do is say no. Above all else, remember that. It is a place of irony, if you will. Once the site of an academy dedicated to the art of demon hunting, now the remnant of a dream sliced open into nightmare. 
way you use uh, terms that lizards would recognize. <laughs> Uh, lizards know a lot about dreams, even if they're not a part of the House of Dreams, usually. Yeah, well, well, I would have figured, considering just how much stock the Prince of the House of War puts in, puts into the House of Dreams. Yeah. Rumor has it an exorcism went wrong there long ago. And for a short time, a great demon stood unopposed. Had it not been for Dr. Deva, the entirety of Reaper's coast could have looked like Blood Moon Island looks today. He contained wrong, the demon and its blood spawn something to the akin to demons? shores of the isle, surrounded it with death fog, and never looked back. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you about Dr. Deva? Not particularly. As in, I was gonna say... But just in general, I I'm not the best demonologist. In but last I checked, Quite the eccentric is Doctor Deva. Uh, but then again, he was a demon hunter, and every time I went to push the button, he started talking again. I'm like, shit, I've been stymied. Yeah, I started. I started talking before the before the button press even went through on on my end. <laughs> he looks you up and down. Aren't we all? Well, <laughs> I guess fair enough. Lizards tend to be eccentric. <laughs> he smiles like one would at a child asking about the birds and the bees. I know because I've known others like you. Those whose fates are chained, for better or for worse, to that of the gods themselves. I have battled the foe of foes, and conquered it. For a while. I have sat in perfumed gardens with the source herself, drank life from her very lips. I have seen well over 2,000 springs, and will continue to do so until time itself closes its weary eyes. Trust me, I know what you are, and what you can be. Well then, he's old enough to know that dragons were a thing. <laughs> Kinda makes me wonder if he was in the, the original uh, two Divinity games. I'm not May sure. You wonder in wisdom. I might have to look that up. Fuck your flaming head. Tell you what, though, he beats crap out of these guys if you look. Yeah. See, right here is a log that lets you cross back over the river. Maybe the river could be crossed on that. Maybe the river could be crossed on that. I said it first. <laughs> but I said it in a cooler voice. That didn't sound like your character's regular voice either, it sounded like you were trying to make it extra cool. Sounded like oh, a hey, look. voice to me. The uh the burnt and electrified chicken. Hmm. AKA where we had the Phoenix. Yeah. Let's see, that means that we're up here. Did you expect well, a needle? Really? <laughs> <laughs> really we might as well needle? we might as well just teleport back down to the uh Driftwood Square and uh recharge our source at the Maester's house. Meister, whatever. Meister, based on German. Mm -hmm. Walk to the wrong damn corner of the house. <laughs>
just how patiently she sits here, though, even though she's wounded to hell and back. Like, yeah. lore-wise, at least she... Yeah. <laughs> I like how there's still that poison on the floor there. Well, it's not just gonna go away unless something burns it. Wait, hang on. Would it, would it harm the spirit of the apprentice if I cast fire daggers? It's a ghost. I don't know how ghosts in this game work. They don't to take damage. The, the pause between they don't, I was thinking they just don't work. <laughs> Yeet. Child up here has so much energy, you just run around on the porch. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is it with playing Divinity and making me instantly tired? <laughs> no idea. Just the walking around part, maybe? No, like w walking around, it doesn't make me doesn't make me tired under most circumstances. Like, there's n no reason I should be tired right now. Noting the attention, he straightens, revealing insignia spelling Tinnit, and a jagged wound spilling his innards upon the ground. He reaches a ghostly hand into your chest and squeezes your heart. You become Kinnit, his memories flooding over you and replacing your own. Warmth, comfort, you are Kinnit, playing cards with your mates in a cozy barracks. You stagger to tipsy attention as a white-clad magister commands that one of your troop seek a lost caravan. That would be a, such a weird experience to be a male human for my character, because it'd be yeah. weird experience for any of us, but especially my character. Yeah, because you'd be suddenly, like, a mile shorter. <laughs> yeah. It's a one-man job. A job no man wants. Your sly-eyed troop leader holds out straws to you and the others. Who will investigate? You feel the short straw and hear them shout, Kin it! You know what that means. A lonely traipse in the cold dark. You dawdle and grumble all the way, sobering as you find the overturned caravan. It uh, doesn't actually ma matter which one you click there. Mm. Massacre. Your lantern reveals ravaged corpses in every direction. Inhaling sharply, you smell a thick black stench you remember second woken corpses your troops have found. As you approach a dark thicket, the stench grows stronger. In a flash of void and blood, a claw rakes savage stripes across your guts. As Kinnit dies, all goes black. Staggering back from Kinnit's deathly grasp, only your own blood now pumps through your heart. With your living eyes, you see him trembling in front of you, desperately holding out three straws. As you pluck the short straw from his hands, Kinnit weeps with relief. His wound disappears in turn, and he's restored to the model image of a strapping young soldier. He looks around, then looks at you, and then he smiles. Smiling broadly, Kinnit fades away. So, we now have Source Vampirism, which means that we can devour spirits if we want, as in just directly from this state instead of the bottles. Hmm. But, yeah. Sir Lore is the only one that's immune to that. Yeah, figured.
does that make sense? You're sitting there fighting, and then it's just, oh, hold on, there's someone here. <laughs> yeah. Sorcerer, you must hate the Reds as much as I do, eh? I like how it references the last one there. Yeah. Rightly so. Reds had sorcerers locked up tight in that caravan. And you know where they were sending them. You look like you've been there yourself. How intuitive of you, Anar. The Magister lunges for the dwarf, his exasperation clear. Anna, you saw it with your own eyes. You know sorcerer's law, Void Woken, and you no, we'd all still be alive if you hadn't attacked our caravan. Before. 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 Before it all, Void Woken stole the sorcerers along the cliffs, headed for seven knows where. We've already been there before. As in where they took them. Not to flip your yeah. flocks or nothing, but tis more that my boss Lohar is against magisters than for sorcerers, if you know what I mean. The magister snorts in disdain. Lohar, I should have known. Sorcerer, if you want to stay alive around these parts, you'll stay far, far away from that walking vermin. Though. On the other hand, maybe you should go stand near him. Maybe the Void Woken could take him out where we failed. Ha! The Dwarf eyes you steadily and silently, his mouth a straight line. The Magister shrugs. Well, if I knew that, we'd have taken him out long ago. All I can say is, he's somewhere in Driftwood, and everything he touches turns into annihilation. Essentially, I think I have to... Go talk to Lohar about this yeah. up here, and then I can uh, get one of them to leave. History is written by victors. Do not Well, guess I should have seen that coming. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, cows can supposedly see the future in. The Divinity series. At least they think they can. Mm. Uh, yep, sure do. Or did, least ways. All bulls can see the future. I'm surprised you don't know. You sure you want to know? Alright. Here is your future. The bull shakes itself, swallows the card, clears its throat. You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> well, <laughs> everyone dies. Oh, let me think about that now, too. Yeah. Mm, uh, okay. Right. Here we go. Might I intervene one second say, I have died a number of times. Sometimes to you, Tony. <laughs> So, to be fair, they were post-stream shenanigans. <laughs> Mostly. Well, yeah. The ball shrugs. Yeah. I don't suppose you could do me a favor on its this here harness so as I can make my way to the Field of Echoes. One thing that... Uh... She noticed he wasn't even confident about the it's gonna happen soon thing. Yeah, soon. Maybe. Eh, who gives a fuck? <laughs> I didn't even know that sh that bulls could shrug. <laughs> I'm joking, I've talked to him before, but still. The bull nods its thanks and gently fades away. I knew you'd say yes. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your corpse in the balls. <laughs> I just I imagine my character said that before. Oh. Void Woken has someone in its claws. Bye. <laughs> Is 
Oh, my turn. All right. <laughs> Let's see. I guess you have the most. Uh... I guess. Wait. Uh, what is it even fucking called? Initiative. Yes. A character attributes. All right. I have eleven initiative. You have eleven. Eleven. Mm. Do I have a bit of equipment that lets? I have get... twenty initiative. Why aren't you going first? What the fuck? No idea. <laughs> hmm. Anyways, there are three voidlings that are. Oh wait, that one over there is volatile. Yeah. In all honesty, I should be like going before most things, but instead it like it cut to me and Beast out of the no Beast does have one, but it cut me out of the equation evidently. Yeah, that makes no sense. And then oh well, you get clear shots. I, I get I get a clear shot on one. The other two are out of range, and even if I was gonna go for the volatile voidling, uh, odds are the path would be blocked by by this viscous one right here so just gonna toss my third dagger eh, never mind better safe than sorry easy experience though yeah Let's see. oh wow pa say, my path is interrupted. i don't really have, don't have the uh I don't have the thing for laser ray, I don't have the, uh, the action points. It's a 3 AP mm -hmm. thing. Oh, uh, yeah. They're lined up, so you probably could have hit at least two of them with it. Yeah. this point, I'm gonna, oh. might be able to stretch a wide bit of fire out. I just... Realize that there's three of them off to the other side, too. Hmm? Oh, there are. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna do my best to... ...to block the ones up here off. Uh... Okay. That's a thing, I guess. That's not terrifying. Yeah, a source infused volatile voidling? That's actually kind of spooky. Uh, yeah, you can you can fuck off. Yeah, I, I know gonna... that just lit fire, but. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Got two of us on fire. Got two of us on cursed fire. Or put two of us in cursed fire. So, uh. Yeah. I'm gonna see what I can do from here, because I've got angles on nothing. They have no armor, so you can probably inflict bleed. Oh, no armor? Oh, yeah, no armor. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I can make two of them bleed, as long as they're not immune. Oh, wait, no. Oh, check their resistance. Yeah, they shouldn't be immune. Yeah, they're not immune. Yeah, immune to disease, infected, and decaying. Yeah. Other than Slayer. that, nothing. <laughs> I like how the one that just fell over looks like he's dead, except his mouth is moving. <laughs> but. Seriously though, he fell over so hard that he flipped onto his back. Yeah. It was like comical too. Yeah. Right, there's not not really anything else I can do for my turn. Let's 
a shivery looking ghost. Hey, I think, yeah, there's only like two left already. <laughs> three. I didn't realize that. Is there three? Yeah. It's the third one then. There is he? Oh, I they're, see. They're hidden in the bush. Yeah. It's another swap. Uh, it's time to get tased, motherfuckers. <laughs> Good news is there, we're down to one for whatever reason. Uh, Beast is in the initiative order in front of Bratwurst. Uh, how much initiative does he have? Uh, one more. Still trying to Man, find out why why Bratwurst was at the very very front. <laughs> yeah. High quality fire essence. Huh. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> if you need, I can get rid of the ice. It doesn't matter. The other one had fire essence too. Rawr! History will remember you reds with more venom than even the Black Ring. History? History is written by victors. Do not doubt. Our divine order will come. Look at my character just waddling his ass over. That said empty and <laughs> you opened it. And that's yeah. empty. <laughs> I just make a fight you slightly for doing it and then I immediately do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna... Do a casual yeet. Yep. Casual mega yeet. I destroyed a fish rack. Someone broke the door off of the outhouse. They must have really needed to go. Yo, fucking Pidge Gunderson. Runs up to you if you have Ethan and talks to you. Hmm. Hey, not too out. Just looking for someone. See. Cena, a Ben Mezd. Ooh, Baron won't like that. Won't like that one little bit. The kid shoves his hands in his pockets and ambles off, resuming his tuneless whistling. Might as well be honest to the kid, right? Yeah. Except the way that my character worded it, uh, it almost makes it sound like I killed him. <laughs> yeah. The fuck is up with these guys? <laughs> with these, uh... Like... <laughs> I mean, seriously, damn near everything that's elven looks kinda weird. When it comes to the clothing. The, the thing I've noticed about elven armor is massive shoulder pads and barely any armor on the women. Yeah. You know what Raymond would do if he caught us? Yeah, yeah. Guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Fair enough. The expected happens. Nothing. Dude's haircut. 
you know, uh, Prince should feel some kind of connection to this guy because uh, he's kind of been removed from his kingdom too. Yeah. And technically, though, it's not a kingdom, right? It's not a dwarven kingdom right now. It's a dwarven queendom. That claymore looks pretty. Me looks kind of good. <laughs> yeah. Granted, just by the name, it's a generic claymore with nothing going for it, other yeah. than the fact that the it looks cool. The, the metal shield got, yeah, looks like say, a mask. He's got, got two shields here that look kind of badass. Yeah, the the one I thought was a mask for a second. The war shield looks pretty nice. S sort of shit that you right into battle screaming Deus Volt with. Not in any pike, pike, pike. About it. Oh. Uh, pike, pike, spear, sorry. Then he's got a little shield hidden right here. Hmm. Well, hello, oh hey, he's the guy I sold the dinners to. The <laughs> fish with flaking scales. I forgot about that. In one case, Doom blade. Um. It's free to look. Just don't touch bear travels, friend. It smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat. See, thirty to thirty-six. So yeah. At least until we level up again, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get much at the market. Yeah. Well, level up or spend an hour here. Why, I offer nothing less than Calm as a coiled spring held tight, this silent watcher stands tense before you. It seems to be waiting for See, um... what is not clear. I'm trying to remember what it was. That, that there were several uh, things I had memorized several weeks ago for creating you great fucking spell books, but I don't remember how to do it anymore. That's why you always write things down. Yeah. You can have these, uh, legs, I guess. In the pixie dust. I don't think we need that. Yeah, so remember the other day when I was uh, telling you about that, uh, about those Bioware develop- Wait, was I telling you about this? I don't remember, but anyways, a bunch of, a bunch of uh, former writers for Bioware, like, people that have worked on uh, Mass Effect and KOTOR. You sent the, uh, you sent me a written message, they, uh, made a D&D &D server. Or, uh, uh, the, the, they're- well, they're they're making a, uh, they they've made their own company that's going to be, uh, that's going to be uh, creating and and publishing uh, D and D uh, campaigns and adventure settings. And they're and they uh, released their first adventure setting. I uh, can't remember what it's called right now, but they released their first adventure th adventure setting through uh, uh, drive through RPG. And so, went to drive through RPG's website uh, to pick it up, but of course, it's one of those things needed to make an account. The account wanted uh, wanted my name, so I so I gave them a fake name, and I fully intend to use that name as a pseudonym for if ever I publish anything. Hmm. Fucking Bratwurst. Yeah, man, Tom Burt Bratwurst. Oh, 
Seriously, the, the more you just look at my character, the more evident it should be that I'm quite obviously not alive. And yet yeah. nobody notices. Holy shit, Let's dwarves see. have huge tits. Okay, so... Is it the, uh, uh, blood, is it Blood Rain or Blood Storm you have right now? Uh, I've got Blood Rain for Beast. Alright, so, do you have a, uh, do you have any Source Hydrosophus or Necromancer books? Uh, don't think I have any, any Source skills. Alright. Uh, I'm currently looking through inventories right now. I, I've got no source skill books and beasts. Ugh, I've got spider legs in, in mine. Yeah, I don't have any source skill books. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, those are just crafting. So now I've got the prices down. Let's see, I've got a regular, uh, I've got soothing cold skill book in my inventory. So all I need to do is buy a, is buy the uh, black shroud skill book here, and I can make you bloodstorm. It is a source ability, at least remember right, but. Black Shroud, and there. This should You're make Bloodstorm skill book. Three source points? Holy shit. Yeah, it's a... It's a very... It's supposed to be a very powerful one. These crafted ones, at least. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's see, then I've got another one for you where it's uh, any pyrokinetic skill book and any uh, necromancer it has to be, one of them has to be the uh, uh, source skill book. What's it do? Uh, it's uh, Mass Corpse Explosion. Ooh, Shades of Diablo. Mm-hmm. But yo, real talk, the fucking Necromancer class in Diablo 3 is busted. At least on a normal hero. See, she doesn't have anything that is... Uh, you know, let's get that, but... Let me look and see. I had one for me as well. And it, let's just see here. It's, uh, any pyrokinetic and warfare skill book. And one of them has to be source, so. Uh, I don't think I have. Oh. I don't think I have a, uh,. Warfare book right now. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right as long as I don't yeah, think about it too much. Just a quick glance at your inventory. Doesn't friends. seem like it. Never forget it. Yeah. Which uh, let's just. Sort. Compact. There. No, it's not a mile long. Yeah, I don't have any warfare books. Yeah. Why am I carrying around body parts? I've got no two, idea. Two dismembered torsos and a disembodied hand. Oh, I also got 69 carry weight. I'm not picking anything else up for about five minutes until I forget. 
it's Aerotherge. You have any warfare over here, buddy? Yes, yes, you do. Was a pyrokinetic, which uh, this guy back here had pyrokinetic. I don't think you have a pyrokinetic, do you? I, I've got the spontaneous oh, combustion book. Oh, uh, send it my way then. Send to Brit. Alright. Spontaneous combustion, and thick of the fight, hold to craft. Master of Sparks. Ooh. What's that do? Let's see here. Keeping it together, Bree. Gotta right. find where it, it got put in my inventory. Right there at the bottom. Um, target character and surrounding allies receive Spark Master stat status. Uh, adds a chance of fiery sparks on melee attacks. So it's really good for. A it's a pyrokinetic ability, though, so... I thought it was a uh, area third. I don't know why, but it's pyrokinetic. So, I'll go ahead and send you that one as well. Uh, as the as the only uh, non-melee attacker of the group. <laughs> yes, but you can buff... Uh, you can buff everyone else, though. Yeah. I'm alright, as long as I don't think about it too much. You see, see. Never forget it. The carved figure is a resplendent sight in this ramshackle village. Best part is, is that we have the m enough money that I didn't really put a major dent in our <laughs> resources by doing this. Yeah, like, the, you only lost like 2,000, 2,000 total. About. Let's see. I'm alright, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. I like how I could just straight up eat a bone to get 11 physical armor. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. I don't come visit your tongue. Who will? My word, but you do look exhausted. I bet you could use a touch of magic. Oh, summon fire slug. I'm all right as long as I don't think about it too much. <laughs> You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Oh, here's one that's, uh... Yep, yep. There's a ability called uh, Planar Gateway. I don't remember how you make it, though. But essentially, it just lets you make a little teleporter. Yeah. If I don't come visit your tongue, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Keeping it 
are free. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Uh, Never forget. Summoning skill. Do, do, do. <laughs> Require summoning three. Oh, I uh, gotta find the trader named Bree in Driftwood Square. Bree? Yeah. Oh, this, uh, Bree. You need supplies? Would stock up if I were you. And she should have. Oh, that's door to eternity. Does she not have it? Does anyone here have a uh, summoning? Later, then. I've got one summoning. Because you need three summoning to cast it, and that might be a requirement for it to even show up. Also takes up two memory slots. Oh yeah, did you see that the uh, new Pokemon games had been announced? No. Yeah, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Turns out I need to switch to play them. <laughs> Does not surprise me. Yeah, so, so in addition to... to getting a job to pay for... to pay for a PC upgrade, also gonna... gonna have to... Shunt three hundred dollars right. towards getting a Nintendo Switch, as well as the new computer for. Never forget it. Yeah, I said PC upgrade before the Switch. No. Oh, uh, speaking of which, next time you're in McPherson, I've I've got the money to pay you back for Starbound. Fifteen dollars, you said. Yep. All right. I'll be back in McPherson this weekend. Alright. Or at least I should be. What would happen if I threw a firestorm grenade in here? In where? Just, you know, the general area. If you hit someone, they'll piss them off. Okay, but what if I throw it and they just walk into the fire surface? They probably won't get angry at you, but they'll just start taking damage. Mm. Mm. Alright, I give up for now. I'll... We can deal with this later. Yeah. The Red Prince just shoved me into a fucking tent. <laughs> There's a reason I... There's a reason I've stopped running him in my solo playthroughs. It's it's this <laughs> multiplayer playthrough that's ruined the Red Prince for me. No. Yeah. <laughs> just so, it's not even really his fault. It's just the computer. Yeah. If my character were back there, then it would be doing the same thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, the blood. <laughs> 
Blood for the blood god. For Groosh. Never, no, it's fucking sad. Groosh. To use him. Here was a massacre. On this episode, my character repeating, "Damn everything." Oh, hey, there's a bull. Stone Crusher's armor. Ooh. Let's see. It's it, not it, as good as what I have on, at least with my character. Oh, it's better than what, uh, the Red Princess, though. And it's gold. Hmm. But what did the Red Princess have in Better than what I've got. Wait, what? But what did the Red Prince have, and is it better than what I've got? The Red Prince, uh, uh, his old armor, it requires strength 12 and 62 physical, 11 magic. Hmm. Do anything else, or is it just stats? Uh, it's just the uh, armor. Uh. My armor isn't really specialized. I'm just going for the step. I mean, for the uh, actual defense. So let's see. This amulet gives necromancer, summoning, and 32 magic armor. Quirk is actually, or uh, Sir Lore actually has something to say. Hmm. Sir Quirkus. That's a run back on something you said once. Yeah, Quirkus is deserving of a knighthood, in my opinion. You gonna come listen in, or? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beast, what the hell happened to your ear? <laughs> Oh wait, I'm beast? Fuck, I didn't want to be beast. Come begging, Quirkus. After ignoring us on the boat... The squirrel reaches out and touches your ankle, sending a hot flash rippling through your body. Your mind's eye sees a new potential spell swirling before it. Ask away, sheepling. Hmm... How to explain it? Do you think giants understand chivalric orders? Can they conceive of honor, of faith? Oh, Quirkus, I am not talking down to it. Quite literally the opposite, in fact. Especially since it's me. I'm a fucking lizard. I'm literally the tallest we get. Yep. I well, just could have a different frill. It won't treat a group yeah. of mystic squirrel knights forming a doomsday cult dedicated to ending the world with a giant acorn with the seriousness it deserves. That second option is fucking <laughs> Kotor Hut in disguise level. Like you remember that shit? Like when you go to the Jedi Temple on Dantooine for the first time, being asked these questions by Bastila, and one of the responses you can give to a question is, "Maybe I'm a secret hut in disguise who's plotting to destroy the Jedi Order from within." I was <laughs> so tempted to click that shit, but I didn't. Uh, I saw that picture that you had on Steam. Yeah. Have you just been going through my Steam profile? For the for the I last got, few days, I got bored, so I just started <laughs> looking around. Like I said, yours not, yours isn't the only one I was looking at. Ah, truly, why our shield is full of surprises, Quirkus. You mean like when I killed you? <laughs> The thing that you must understand about the Knights of Dread is that they are utter fanatics. Nothing matters to them but the return of the Great Acorn and the destruction of the giant races. Other than the destruction of their homes, the deaths of their friends, and watching ancestral forest being turned into farmland. 
<laughs> it just makes it sound like my character wasn't even listening in the first place. I am perfectly in control, Quackus. Those claw marks were probably on your spine already. <laughs> uh, what spine? I see only ectoplasm. We must stand against them. I alone have the magical expertise to stop them. Not that it matters. No one else will even listen. For that, if nothing else, you have my thanks. Now, was there anything else? A giant body, but no giant brain, eh, Quackers? If you had a body, I would, I would punt you off the cat. Surely. Even the tall folk know that Rivalon was bare before the great acorn fell from above and seeded the Irwood, covering this land in beautiful, perfect forests. Beautiful and perfect until the giant races, no offense, realized they could use it to build their houses and fuel their fires. They carved the Irwood up. And the forests shrank and shrank. None of the original wood remains. But someday, the great acorn will fall again. The forests will be reborn. And the giant races will be wiped from this world. <clears throat> At least that's what I hear. It's almost like he, uh... <laughs> It sounds like he used to be a knight of grey. Workers, it wants answers. As if it is the first creature to ponder the big questions of the universe. What tree did the great acorn fall from? Where did that tree come from? If not a great sure acorn, to all that would you build a different nest stream. great enough to store the great acorn for the oh. winter? There's a key on that cor corpse. On the corpse? On the quarp. On the magic cart. I already picked the key up. I tell you what though, wow. that that uh, dead dwarf had real bad gas. Do we ever fight in here? Yeah, this is the statue area. Oh yeah, I remember this place. A lot of dwarves, a lot of poison. I seem to recall more than a few explosions. It was a good time. I'm almost completely hidden. Perfection. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nobody would suspect a thing. Maybe for me, other than the fact my uh, blade's sticking out, but... Yeah. <laughs> I just imagine someone walks behind with the remains of the statue and just steps on my tail. Imagine, imagine the shock as a lizard pops out and then just stabs them. <laughs> just... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like the 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 perfect divinity version of a Monty Python sketch. Yeah, there's just the stacked ooze barrels up there, though. Oh yeah, I forgot I did that. Hang I on, did I've, that. I, uh, whoever did that. I know well, I, I have an affinity. Go blow them up. Yeah, I know I have an affinity for stacking things just to tear it all down. I'd sing a Linkin Park song, but of course, that's copyrighted. Where'd you go? Oh. The 
flag is up here, but it, the quest I was looking at here says it gets dig down. This is the beginning of the blood trail, though. I like how we both have the same idea. I don't know where the fuck it wants us to dig if this is the area. Well, if you want to go for it, I'd say quick save him and we can try fighting him. Alright, I'll let you know when the save is successful. Well, I can see it. Oh, you can? Mm-hmm. Oh, didn't know that showed up on your end. Alrighty. The enormous, unusually- Didn't hear me the first time, Parrot! You know, fuck it, I'm going for it. Is that right, Turtle Dub? Maybe you prefer taking beatings, hmm? That more your style? <laughs> now oh, he's a, a literal rock. That's a lot of health. Let's just examine. You need a poison, knocked down, petrified, and decaying. He has a negative 100 to fire. Oh, just like Skyrim. <laughs> However, he has a uh, 150 to poison. Oh, don't worry. I, I, checking my checking my hotbar, I've got five fire spells. Uh, one, of, it, one of them being Supernova. He, uh, <laughs> he has to walk it off. What's that do? Uh, everything we do to him has a, uh, one turn less duration when it comes to statuses. What? What? Fuck your armor. Still looks like a rock, though. Just in case he does go smack you at any point before we kill him. Yeah. Dwayne the Rock brought worst. Oi. <laughs> I'm the one that normally makes that joke. The Dwayne the Rock, whenever it's something to do with. Yeah. Good to see this guy's not immune to bleed. Oh, wait, he has no, Necrofire on now. Oh shit, he just got a huge amount of buffs uh, of immunity, so. Now he's immune to frozen, poison, knockdown, chilled, warm, wet, petrified, decaying, and webbed. Hmm. And his fire resistance went to negative 120. Huh. It increased. So you're gonna deal even more damage with your fire spells. Yeah. I tell you what, though, he looks. Pretty fucking intimidating with the <laughs> necrofire. Yeah. Good. Good to see he's got uh, no necromancy resistance. Yeah. 
obviously too far for the spell I wanted to use. And let me guess, walking up to him would uh, take too much. Yeah. Or, hang on. Yeah. That, that tiny ass little tail he has, though. <laughs> Wondering how I created the necrofire. I didn't mean to. Oh wait, probably the curse. Blood on fire. Well, the the fact that the fact there are dead voidlings and their blood was cursed might have something to do with it. Yeah. But I think it's just blood on fire causes necrofire. Uh, blood on fire makes blood fog. Oh. Anyways. Pass it on to the to the better me. At least as far as this fight goes. Yeah. There's oh, one fight we'll be shit. having here. Did you just deal like a thousand damage? <laughs> yes. Holy fuck. What else can I do to this motherfucker? Oh, I can't cancel this? Good to know. What is that? Uh, I clicked on Source Vampirism and it won't let me cancel it. Oh, okay, now it lets me cancel. I like how Sir Lore is just right on up in there. My character for a second I always looked like they were doing the little finger gun thing. <laughs> Just bang, bang. Well, I'm all out of moves for my turn. Smack me if you dare. Oh he oh he dare. Oh he dare. Oh. Well shit. That's a lot of dare. Well, he's still on fire at least. I'll just, uh... Why the fuck did it take the... Oh, boy. We're just bullying this guy. This'll be this'll be risky if he decides to attack the prince, but I can hit him with the um, flip infect. He uh, has got over a hundred percent poison resistance. Well, that's why I'm hitting with it. It's a necromancy spell. Deal. I thought it did poison damage though. Deal three hundred seventeen to three fifty physical damage and infect them with a disease. Okay. <laughs> so if this does deal poison, then that's fucked up. And I say it's risky because if he hits the Red Prince, there goes that armor and the Prince is going to be diseased. Depends on how hard he hits him. Well, considering that with one hit, uh, he took out all of Bratwurst's armor from from Fortify and the little bit of physical he had anyways. Yeah. Oh. That know. was all in and he, uh, me and you had 300, so I think he should be able to survive at least an all in. Well then. <laughs> Hello, ugly. Hello, ugly. That's a lot of damage. Guess who's up next in the initiative order? The exploding corpse. Because it always puts the spawn right after the guy that spawned it. Yep. 
Now let's see, how much damage does this deal? 278 to 306. And then, oh, laser beam's up and ready. And put you at an angle you don't quite have to hit me with. Yeah. If, if only I was close, then I could supernova. Basically, just annihilate. Yeah, basically guarantee the kill. But as it is, I can get close, if not just outright kill him right now with, with the laser beam. So... Booyah! Oh, oh he's so dead close. next turn. He's dead on his turn. Yeah. Rip the Dude, this guy is just... <laughs> that guy just had the worst day of his life. Yeah. Uh, there's a unidentified ring. It's actually a rare one in there, too. Ooh. I'll just wait for the fire to go out. Bean dip potato chip. Bean dip potato chip. Oh, oh, my lore master's too low. Mm, just pick it up for later then. Fuck. What is my lore master even at? Civil. Well, beast oh, is at... the one that. Yeah, has I know. It. Yeah, I know. It it defaults to beast for lore master. Ah. Uh. I just need to level beast up. Well, we're about halfway to the next level. We can go fuck up the other troll if you want. Alright. Oh, there's the crushed Delvin corpse. Oh, T is for troll. I'm gonna read that. Mm. Oh, never mind, it's just a... It's a... It's a... Educational thing. I was expecting a children's rhyme, and I got an educational book on troll behavior. Um... I don't remember if we ever went up into the middle up there. Next to where we are. Because uh, there is a little fight in the Master of Source up there. Ooh. And she just gives you what you want because you save her life by, me, by doing the fight. We definitely haven't been there, then. I was gonna say, I think the one that we got source from was... Yeah, we got... Oh, look at the little guy. Oh, wow, he's small. Mm-hmm. Well, Probably... No it's too late for them, they oh, he's quite polite as well. Yeah. Just having a good day. Um, the, uh... Very same, uh... Magisters I was just referring there harassing the master of source just paid him a me and the master of source all paid him a fuck ton to get past real fast. Ah. Uh. So he's real happy. Oh, just the best. Just the bees knees, really. I've made more money today than in the last month combined. Thanks to a group of Magisters who were in such a hurry, they didn't have time to haggle. Some sorcerer who fled by earlier, and she paid a handsome toll too. Glory, what a marvelous day. Isn't a healthy business environment just wonderful? Grog and his pathetic bridge give me just the little kick of competition I need to improve my service and increase my prices. Marge bats his eyelashes at you. You can't quite tell whether he's serious or not. Oh, how sad. His eyes light up with an avaricious little gleam and he rubs his enormous hands together. I suppose I can franchise out my bridge trolling system to an apprentice now. <laughs> Whoa! Not so fast. 
I do try to be nice about it and all that. Oh, tap on but the this door. Bridge is Marge's business. So now we play the waiting game. Remember that? I mean, I grab my phone and open up Solitaire for a second. It is such a fine day. I can let you pass at a discount if you entertain me with tales of valiant void woken battle. Otherwise, full price. Wide eyed, Marge nods in appreciation at your tale. I literally gave no detail, I just said, Yeah, I've killed tons of Wade Woken lately. <laughs> yeah, we have. Now that is a story. For that, you can pass for a pittance. Oh, that's not so nice. Not so nice at all. Yeah, sorry buddy, I'm about to turn your best day ever to the worst. What we are. Oh yeah, he turned right for me. <laughs> Why do they like you so much? I, I don't know, but now I'm knocked down, which is stupid. See, uh, this one has the immunity to burning. Ah, uh, of course it does. He has a severe allergy to poison, though. And of course he knocked my biggest poison dealer right off the face of the earth. Like, let's check my hot bar, shall we? Poison dart, 219 to 240. Uh, contamination, 120 to 132. As well as turning water, blood, and clouds to poison. But on the upside, Beast does have a poison staff. I'm gonna switch your character with the Red Prince. Oh, what the fuck? I clicked on your character. Hmm. Evidently, your character is my character. Glory is mine. For some weird reason. Let's see, when it say who's it mean to again? Oh yeah, knocked down and everything. Let's just try and make you survive though. At least a bit. Yeah. It didn't say you're immune to sleeping. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, between his source ability and uh, that chloroform, uh, uh, the Red Prince can just annihilate uh, ones that. Uh, uh, He almost sounded like he was drunk. Right where I want you. Oh, of course. Eh, don't worry, Beast has got more than enough health. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think that uh, Beast pissed him off. Yeah, he's just lucky I don't have a turn in the initiative order this go around, for some stupid reason. Because you had to stand back up. Yeah, at the end of the last initiative turn. Um, Wait, I'm not sure he's gonna survive the poison. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? It it's says it's beast, saying it's- you! <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> that makes no sense. Well, time to kill everything. Another I unidentified ring. This time I can identify it. Heinous ring. 
gives pyro, hydro, plus 5 air resist, and 87 magic armor. Yoink. And there are two large tusks on there, just for, like, sail fodder, I guess. Mm-hmm. Might want to heal. Yeah, I was working on that. Wait, hang on. Did we grab bedrolls at some point? Oh, yeah. Who's inventory? Set slot, item, bedroll. No, anyways, let's go uh, get that third source point so you can use those new abilities, right? Yeah. It'll be a once in the fight kind of thing unless you uh, steal source, though. Yeah. Or, uh, I guess, if it, we just abuse the power of source orbs, but still. Yeah. Essentially oh though, she's keeping them at bay by causing that. I'm gonna guess that mostly black stuff is lava. Uh yeah, that right there is lava. I submit this as proof. Holy shit. But basically, if we try and go in just directly that way, she'll annihilate anyone that tries to go there. Mm. So we have to come back here where the magisters Your are. Your powers of observation astonish me. <laughs> it wasn't me, it was the character. Yes, but it's something that you would have said. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Let's see, how much damage do I do with this skin? I can wipe out half of her health if we just do a surprise hit. Half of whose health? This one? Well, actually, just like, see if you can get both of these people in the supernova. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I definitely can't get both of, them, both of them in a supernova, but if I do move over here, I can laser beam them both. Do you want me to to get my pew pew on now, or go through dialogue? Guess I can't get my pew pew, pew. on now. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that 88 armor is totally gonna help you. You're not trying to escape, are you? Oof. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, uh, that magic shell is gonna be a pain in the neck. I was gonna say pain in the nuts, then I remembered that's the wrong analogy. I was gonna say, I could have sworn that there was another one. And now I may or may not hit you with laser beam. There. Happy? Somewhat. Wow, the pillar's just barely blocking me. Yeah, might as well just uh, ensure that this person doesn't. Oh. Come the fuck on. Well, they attack the one that could take it easy. Not. 
Whoop de doo, you feel slightly better about yourself. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This doesn't. Oh, this should deal enough damage to take out his magic armor. So, get poisoned. Can't say, you... can say the uh, marksman's behind you, but you'd probably have to adjust to attack him. Yeah, definitely. Let me at least see if my staff of mages. Nope. Oh, oh. Barely. Just winged it. Alright, 397. Oh yeah, this, this bitch gonna die. Wait, what was that? Quest? Uh... My enemy's enemy is my friend. Okay, I read that really weird. Yeah. physical armor. Wow. No, bitch. Just for that. You're getting thrown in a fucking laser. Oh, boy. He <laughs> <laughs> just run right back. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, run back and miss the attack. <laughs> they and then... literally ran right back to the spot. <laughs> and then left their back open. Mm -hmm. What a ninny. Oh, you poor, poor child. Like, literally if they uh, had just turned the other way, they would have been... They would have at least made you adjust first with Beast in order to hit them. As it is, I may have to adjust anyways. Uh. Oh, I can actually hit with this. Uh, gotta experiment with a wacky camera angle. Yeah. I can't hit them with this. I was gonna say, I swear if I fall over. I was kinda hoping you would, in all honesty. Just for comedic effect. Unidentified shield. I could use you to just, uh... Alright, it's you. identified. Oh, 210 physical, 144 magic. That's not bad. And get my by that on. I mean it's by that I mean it's literally almost twice what to the one that he had was. Nice. Um, he's now up to 600 armor and 300 uh, magic. Now let's go talk to the lizard lady up here. <laughs> you know your trade of murdering magisters? <laughs> well, at this point, I hope so. Yeah. A sense of urgency from deep within you quickens your heart and hardens your gut. Your god wants you to know that this sorcerer can help you on your mission. She can help you to become more powerful. <laughs> she offers you a grateful smile. She gives you a long look, considering the request. You have proven yourself a friend at least, but you must prove your heart. I'll ask one more thing of you. I left oh, yeah. my apprentice, Gwydion Rince, at the Black Pits. He is with his family. They are in danger. 
I forgot for a split second that she has asked about that because I normally have already just walked over and done that. Yeah. It's the fight where literally the entire screen gets lit on fire if you're not careful. Hmm. Help them, and I will help you. I should be most grateful. Let's see. Helmet, uh, boots. That helmet's pretty fucking nice. <sighs> oh, hey, I can make a bleed fire skill book. I thought you already had bleed fire. I'm not sure. Yeah, I've already got bleed fire. <laughs> this, not that uh, it's a helmet, useful though. skill. <laughs> I'm trying. Well, bleed fire does have its uses, but yeah, not many of them. Wrong one. It's me and you, that one. Even more so than Forgotten Death? The spirit's face contorts into a snarl. Just for the hell of it. You know, I feel like that's even more of an insult since there's literally nothing that I could do with that. You guys, uh, I already had full source. Yeah. It does not respond to my touch. There must be a way to activate it. I think if you cast the uh, Blood Rain or something, it does not respond to my touch. There must be it's an unholy to altar. It probably wants blood. Well, figured I might as well try. Try blood rain. Blood for the blood god. It does not respond to my touch. Huh. There must be a way to activate it. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go slurp up some source. It does not respond to my touch. Yo, there's a spectral nun here. Mm-hmm. The Magister's spirit, he struggles to refocus and turns to look at you. But before he realizes what's happening to him, it's already over. Oh. I feel like it probably wants a cursed thing mm. to happen here. I can I think I do have the stuff to make a curse scroll. Although I'm not sure if that'd do anything to the blood. It's worth a shot. How many of these can I make? I can make one, because I've got one void tainted fish, I believe. Alright. Inventory. Insert. Insert generic necromancer quote. Now, should I curse the altar or the blood? Uh, the altar. If it's if it needs the blood, it'll probably get spread to it anyway. It does not respond to my touch. Really? A way to activate it. It hmm. does not respond to my touch. There must be a way to activate it. It does not my path was my interrupted. Touch. Must be a way to activate. It's saying my path to the altar's interrupted by nothing. I think it's just saying that the altar is interrupting your path. Yeah, the altar's interrupting my path to the altar. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> I was 
even try and do that. But hey, it's just... It's basically just fucking Slender Man right here. Hmm? The way what? if... Just like, you're walking around and I just keep doing this, so it's just... Slender Man. How the fuck are you doing that? The teleporter pyramid? Uh... Wait, well, you think I was just, like, lagging really bad? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because that's normally what's going on. I'm trying to get a point on, on this where I don't poison anyone. The only problem is Beast is a dumb shit. <laughs> it does not respond to my touch. There must be a way to activate Alright, if this doesn't activate it, nothing will. Bye, beast. <laughs> Just spawns a fucking sun on it. Respond to my touch. There must be a way to activate it. Can confirm. It didn't work. <laughs> Some ghost rider. Except you're dying to your own fucking. Overall, I think. That if we go to that island, we should be able to fuck over all the enemies there, but at this point, but... I also think my alarm's going off. So... Yeah, but we, we can always set up shop next to Jayhan here. I'd say I'd say we could also nuke him, but then I but then I took a look at his uh, defense values, and I was like, yeah, there's no fucking way. Evidently, he actually owns this house, though. <laughs> that light above his head, though. Yeah. I'm Damn, he's got a good fucking detection radius. I mean, it's the same one that every other NPC has. It's a little wider, I think. No. Actions, examine, Let's see. Oh, he, he appears to be permanently clear-minded. Yep. And leader in sight for whatever reason. <laughs> He's got... He's Yo. got himself some pretty good resistances, too. Yo, I'm looking at his fucking base stats right now, like his attributes? Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Damage, 684 to 795. Fucking hell. Then he's got a 10 on Pyro, Hydro, Area 3, Everything Geomancer, except Necromancer. And Necromancer. That's... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking into stats as well. Like, holy fuck. Hey. Oh shit, he actually has some decent shit, it looks like. Oh, he's a shopkeep? Evidently. Hmm. In the darkness of the woods, you spot a man over despite the altar. Go on. Step in from the shadow. There is much weaker. He eyes you with a sudden intensity. Makes you feel I stand corrected. He sighs. The roads are rather dusty today, aren't they, Godwoken? May I of oh, no? Of course. One like he pours a glass of wine from a bottle in his greatcoat and drinks it down to your very good health, I'm sure. We did throw you out of uh, talking with him for that, or...? Yeah, it threw me out of talking with him. What the fuck? <laughs> okay! Yeah, he got to the point where, let me introduce myself, and then just boot it out. <laughs> You'll be their key before you know it. How 
fares the hunt, my friend? Oh boy. Oh boy, bone cage. Increase physical and magic armor. Oh wait, no. Increase physical armor by 86, and then an another 86 for each corpse in the area around you. Holy shit. Hmm. My character's just sitting here tweaking out. There's there's also a Bon Jovi skill book. Oh. Yeah, living on the edge. Or okay. wait, no, isn't no? That's Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Bon Jovi's living on a prayer. Can't touch. In fact, mosquito swarm. Shackles of pain. One of his magical wands of the dwarf is pretty good. Just doesn't add one to my intelligence like the wand I've got. <laughs> He's got a wand called Obliterator. I was about to say, he's got a legendary shield, but then turns out it's not as good as the one you just gave the prince. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got a crafting book for source orbs. Three crafting books, actually. Or, no, two crafting books. The War Machine's Companion and On Source Orbs. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy those. May you... the other book. There it is. You always said your alarm went off? Yes. Alrighty. Then I'll go ahead and uh, cut my stream off. getting all bleary eyed all right. anyways. Mm. So, as always, peace out, Odin's blessings.